So here I go again, and uh, proving that I'm I'm dangerous when it comes to the the, the, the minimal understanding of solar energy that uh, that I have. So basically, ran into an issue with uh, heat, which I talked about a couple times before, and rocket mass heater helped that out, and uh, got a, got some few few uh, changes I'm going to make. I'm going to rip apart the rocket, rocket mass heater and uh, make some changes in the spring to get ready for next winter to make it a little more efficient. But long story short, I'm tired of running outside and uh, or running in the garage and, and loading wood into the thing. And so uh, I, I went from burning wood and sticks to burning some pellets mixed in with wood and sticks. And that makes things a bit easier. It runs a little better. But in the meantime, uh, coming up with some other ideas. So the back of the uh, garage here is hit by an awful lot of sun from morning till about one o'clock and I was walking through Home Depot and they had this uh, black tubing for fourteen dollars and it was a hundred feet and it reminded me of a, an experiment I did a long time ago with uh, a, a, a solar air heater so I decided to go ahead and make a quick solar water heater and uh, this is actually version 2 where I just kind of threw it together and the idea is to get the black tubing to absorb uh, light from the sun creating heat as the water snakes through the pipe and comes out the other end warmer and uh, you throw a little piece of plastic over and it, it'll hold in more of the heat so you get uh, heating not just from uh, the sun heating up the black tubing but also from air being retained and warming up inside of the the little uh, the shroud so you know it, it's it, it's really a, a poor man's design basically fourteen dollar tubing and uh, the plastic was 99 cents from the dollar store and that might be two or three of those and uh, but the you know it works out pretty well for me it basically heats the water up uh, about 10 to 15 degrees hotter than it goes in so uh, I can raise the temperature of the koi pond a bit so um, this is the first video on this just kind of wanted to show what it looked like it's basically the black tubing comes out and snakes around uh, water is gravity fed so it just comes down from uh, a higher elevation snakes down through the piping and comes back out uh, back into the sump so more on that later but uh, this is uh, uh, passive water heating for indoor koi tank for aquaponic system version 2 thanks for watching